Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Sharice and I'm doing a video today on how to wash your synthetic hair before an install. And if you're wondering why I look like this for this video, I'm actually in the middle of filming a Reb Dolls haul. So if you want to check that out, please do. I don't know if I've posted it yet or not. But what I want to do is just show you how to wash synthetic hair. I know there are videos up here on about it, but you haven't seen my video, okay. <laughs> so when I got my hair done a couple weeks ago, insert picture here. Why well, I'm doing it with this hand, damn. Um, the hair was really, I mean, the hair style looked really good and that's, I bought the hair that my hair stylist preferred. But after a couple days, I was just like, my hair is itching so bad and like itching burning. And when it's like that kind of burn, you know that you're allergic to the hair or you're having sensitivities to the hair. I'm getting my hair done by her again. And I was just like, I have to wash the hair this time. Now it doesn't happen to me with every hair, which with every brand of hair, which is why I didn't do it um, for that style. But in this video, I'm gonna show you basically just quickly how I wash the hair. So I hope you enjoy. I hope I figure out how to do a voiceover and um, yeah. Hey guys, so here I'm just showing you what the hair looks like. It's the three times Rua Expressions pre-stretched braiding hair, 24 inches. Here I am just opening up the pack of hair. I actually have two packs of this three times pack brand so it's um six i guess you would call it bundles of hair so here i am just taking them out the package to get prepared for wash day so you can see here they're tied on to the package by a rubber band um, pretty simple that's going to be helpful for us I thought I was going to have to rip those little pieces off that's containing the hair, but it actually just slid right out of the um, holder. I will say the hair is actually very soft as is. I'm showing you a little rubber band here. I'm going to use that to tie up the end of the bundle because I don't want the hair to get tangled. So I'm just wrapping that around the end one time was actually enough for this hair. And I'm going to do that to all six bundles. Here I just I just cleaned my sink and I'm about to fill it up with lukewarm water. The sink is full now and I'm about to add my apple cider vinegar. This is the one I'm using, it's just from Walmart. You can use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, whichever you'd like. I'm just kind of eyeballing here how much I'm adding to the water. I don't think it matters if you add a little too much, I think it'll be okay. But I'm just kind of swirling that around in the water and making sure it kind of mixes up. Ooh, how much did I add? <laughs> But yeah, I just added the apple cider vinegar to the water. Now I'm adding the first bundle of hair to the sink filled with water and apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add all six bundles at once. You could also do this in your tub if you had a whole lot of hair. That's an option. But I felt like my sink was good enough for just six bundles of hair. So I'm trying to... Uh, really submerge the hair into the water. I wanted to penetrate, well maybe not penetrate, but I wanted to reach all of the strands of hair. So I'm gonna continue to try to push the hair under the water, kind of swirl it around, just make sure it really gets in there. I wanna get that coating of chemicals off this hair. Thank you. 
at this point I feel like I've swirled the hair around good enough so I'm going to leave it to sit I would say at least 15 minutes maybe around an hour now I got distracted and I was watching the uh Monica versus Brandy versus battle which was it was interesting okay so basically I let it sit for like three hours but you don't have to do it that long Okay, I am back from watching that versus battle and I am just checking on the hair, kind of swirling it around a little bit, and I'm going to empty the sink of the ACV and water mix. I forgot I was actually struggling here a little bit, so I don't plug up my sink that often, so sometimes I forget which way to put the stopper in and the way I put it in it looks legit but you can't actually pull it out with your hand so that started this whole saga of me trying to figure out how to unplug the sink eventually I just had to get my pliers so I could get that out but this was wild <laughs> so I have the sink drained and I'm about to start rinsing the hair you want to thoroughly rinse this hair as best as you can um i don't think it'll actually like hurt you to leave um apple cider vinegar in the hair but it just it just doesn't smell good so i want to rinse it as thoroughly as possible and i'm taking my time on each bundle of hair here So I am grabbing a hanger that has two uh, holders on each side and I am taking the rubber band that's at the top of the bundle and I'm just hanging it up on the hanger. And right above my sink I have a cabinet with some uh, doorknobs so I'm just going to hang the hanger right up there and keep hanging the bundles of hair on the hanger so that they can drip dry into the sink. Now, like I said, you can also do this in your tub and you can hang it up on the shower rod so your hair will drain into the tub, but I just don't have that much hair, so I decided to do it in the sink. So I just threw this clip in here to show you how the hair looks when I'm all done. It's still wet, it's just hanging in the sinks to drip dry. And I also discovered that my back camera, it automatically does a flash. So sorry, I just discovered this. This is the hair dry, it's just as soft as when I first started with it. Hope you enjoyed! <laughs>